motion is not agreed to. It is a major setback for gay rights efforts to end the military's don't ask, don't tell policy. A Senate bill that would have repealed the ban on openly gay service has been defeated after the only Republican senator who supported repeal voted against it after what she said were Democratic attempts to limit debate. I cannot vote to proceed to this bill under a situation that is going to shut down the debate and preclude Republican amendments. Republican opponents had cited the military service chiefs, saying it's best to hold off on repeal. All of them have said they wanted a complete study about the effect on morale and battle readiness of their respective services before moving forward. The man tabbed to lead the Marine Corps told lawmakers he's against changing the policy, and so apparently are the rank and file. I've heard uh, at the Marine bases and the uh, Marine uh, input for the online survey, it has been predominantly negative. The repeal language was part of an overall defense authorization bill that would have funded several programs and given troops a pay raise. It is uh, outrageous and it's sad that the Republicans have banded together to refuse to even let us begin debate on a bill which is so critically important to our nation's defense. The pro-repeal movement had been getting a lift from Grammy winner Lady Gaga, who told supporters in Maine, don't ask, don't tell is backward. Doesn't it seem to you that we should send home the prejudice, the straight soldier who hates the gay soldier? At a predominantly gay American Legion post in San Francisco, the mood after the vote was heartbroken. It's a sad day in San Francisco. It's a sad day in the United States of America for all veterans, whether you're straight or gay. The veterans here call it discrimination, plain and simple. It's okay to die in combat, but don't die gay, or at least don't come back gay. Gay rights advocates are now worried they've lost a crucial chance at changing the 17-year-old law. And if Democrats lose seats in the November elections, repealing Don't Ask, Don't Tell next year will be even tougher, if not altogether impossible. Sagar Magani, The Associated Press, Washington.